Hello, my name is Mike Pildish. I am president of uh, Canadian Greenfield Technologies. Today we will be presenting and describing a new upgraded hemp train processing line model that was upgraded relative to the original 2018 model that was successfully launched some five plus years ago. But this uh, particular upgraded model was reflecting uh, two main requests from the market, higher throughput, and the throughput of the entire system is now up to 3,000 pounds per hour, and also processing high fiber content feedstock to produce high quality, long, intact fiber. The high quality fiber is very important uh, apparently for a lot of industries starting from high-end textile to uh, composite materials to various types of building materials and so on. And to produce this type of product requires special engineering solutions which I will be describing uh, along with this presentation. We'll start from the bale opener. The bale opener in essence, it's a machine that takes tightly baled hemp straw, whether square bales or round bales, and turns these bales into a, a flow of loose feedstock. And, and that flow has to be also controlled in terms of its uh, throughput towards the, uh, for the processing. To our best knowledge, this hemp train has bale opener that is fairly unique in the world because it was developed specifically for very tightly baled hemp straw, the bales of uh, both square or round shape and practically of any size. The to reflect the request from the market and the main purpose for the upgraded uh, train, this particular bale opener is now equipped with feedback control anti-jamming system that is required, has required special engineering solutions. Moving on, this is a decorticator unit. In essence, this is the heart of the entire system. It employs special technology, as it was in the original model, to non-destructively separate hemp feedstock into three main product streams. High quality fiber, high quality herd, and green microfiber that is a stream derived from any green biomass that could be still present on the hemp straw feedstock. To our best knowledge, this is the only technology in the world that can non-destructively separate the feedstock into these uh, streams and separate the green biomass from the herd uh, stream so that increases the quality and the value of herd, but also creates another valuable product stream for various applications. And green biomass could be uh, turned into green microfiber, could be effectively used in gardening, in uh, uh, hemp-infused beverages, and so on. So moving on, this unit is a fiber cleaner unit. This is a brand new unit. It did not exist in the original uh, um, 2018 model. And again, it was developed and added to answer the requests from the market to create cleaner fiber, cleaner that is from attached herd and non-destructively clean it, still retaining high uh, uh, tensile strength 
high uh, integrity, long fiber, which is very important for many applications such as high-end textiles, such as composite materials, such as uh, uh, building materials, and so on. So far, we've been talking about what we call fiber subtrain, because the separation between the fiber, the herd, and the green microfiber create not only new or separate product streams, it also requires separate uh, uh, subtrains, which I will describe uh, in a minute. Concluding this fiber subtrain is the fiber packaging unit. By the way, this is a typical fiber created by the system. And this unit is totally automatic. It requires no labor involvement. It is uh, automatically packaging the fiber in smaller bales. It's automatically strapping the bales. And all it requires is only to, for the bales to go uh, into uh, further processing as required or on pallets or whatever the business model uh, is calling for. This is the other side of, the, of this uh, entire processing line. Behind me, you will see the other side of the decorticator unit, of the fiber cleaner, and of the fiber packaging. The main feature from this vintage point is this dust control unit that has special feature it is a certified unit specifically for explosion control in case of the rarest uh, 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 occurrence. We uh, supply this unit with all our installation in the world with uh, um, any ham train uh, uh, construction. Moving on. This is really a convergence point for the herd collection from the decorticator, from the fiber cleaner, and even some falling from the bale opener. They converge all here to be sent to herd subtrain for separation between the herd and green microfiber and further processing, refinement, and sizing, and blending, and I'll explain it later. We are looking behind me is the main assembly of the herd subtrain. It does several main operations. It's a patented assembly, has very unique features. It separates herd from the green microfiber, and green microfiber is going into this bag. But it also refines herd in several ways. Number one, it can spec size the herd, the feature that, to our best knowledge again, nobody has in any ham processor in the world. It spec sizes herd uh, and the size of the herd could be produced from uh, one-eighth of an inch to an inch and a half. And it can be programmed for that. It also, and it's very important, because depending on applications, the size of the herd is a very important parameter. It also can separate herd spec-sized stream from any finer herd and create one more stream. And you can see here two streams, and it is a provision that is used or can be used in case there is a, a need for any separation of any fine fraction to create one more herd stream, and uh, which can be used 
for many applications from absorption to uh, plastic functional filler and so on. This assembly is a blender. It can blend in line herd with any uh, additive as required. Sometimes it's required for uh, various types of consumer products. Sometimes it is for garden products. Uh, it is uh, used very often by uh, our uh, users or end users for uh, making cat litter. This is an uh, inline machine attached to the herd uh, refiner and separator and can again be in line and produce final product if required. Our control system has also been upgraded and it smoothly integrates all the upgrades made in the train and uh, in, uh, at the end it operates very smoothly by user-friendly touchscreen that you can see here and uh, everything else is done by the system automatically. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.